on it. It looks like it's going to be underway here in just a few moments. The officers stepping up to those microphones. Uh, earlier this morning, there was a couple 7-11 shootings. At least two people have died in four separate incidents. This happening all across South California locations. It was a string of armed robberies and uh, unfortunately, again, two people left dead. Police investigating these crimes possibly linked together. You can see here our officer just waiting for a few more people uh, to file in here before our update does come. This is something we've been keeping an eye on here for you, especially ever since we heard that this was happening in the Los Angeles area. Now police finally going to get us an update on exactly what they do know here at this time, possibly uh, any suspect or suspects they may be looking for. So let's go ahead, listen in here. I'm live now from Fox. Okay. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sergeant Sumner Bohe with the La Habra Police Department. I'm joined here with Captain Philip Rodriguez with the Brea Police Department, and we have two brief statements to offer you this, uh, this morning. Um, earlier this morning, uh, July 11th at approximately 4.55 a.m., La Habra police officers uh, received a report of a robbery that just occurred at the 7-Eleven, 381 East Whittier Boulevard. As officers arrived on scene, they located two gunshot victims, uh, Los Angeles County Fire Department, responded to treat the gunshot wound victims who were subsequently transported to a local hospital for continued treatment. No suspects were located at that time. This is an ongoing investigation and we ask that anyone who may have witnessed or has any information regarding this incident to contact the La Habra Police Department's watch commander at area code 562-383-4300 and I'll hand it over to Captain Rodriguez. Hi everybody, good morning. My name's uh, Phil Rodriguez with the Brea Police Department. I'm a captain there. We also have a, a brief statement about uh, what occurred in the city of Brea this morning. Uh, we want to start off, and we did put something out on our social media platforms, so we want to start off uh, by confirming there was a homicide that occurred in Brea, and uh, uh, our hearts uh, go out to the families of that person. And uh, please know for the family that we're thinking about you and praying for you. Um, at approximately 4.18 uh, this morning, uh, we received a call in our dispatch center of a male down possibly with a gunshot wound. Brea PD officers arrived and did find a male down with a gunshot wound. Brea Fire arrived on scene and pronounced the male deceased. This does appear to be a robbery that turned into a homicide. Our detectives are act actively working the crime scene and all of the leads that they've um, that they have so far, uh, we will be releasing a photo of the suspect uh, shortly. That photo is going to be on our social media platforms, and we are asking the public, uh, the public's help in identifying uh, that person. Um, detective Alfred Rodriguez uh, is the handling detective on our case, and he can be contacted. And I'll repeat this for you: at seven one four six seven one. 4438. Again, his number is 714-671-4438. And his email address is Alfred R. That's A-L-F-R-E-D-R at cityofbrea.net. Um, we are aware of other incidents that have occurred um, here in the Southland at 7-Elevens. Um, we, we obviously at this point, we can't confirm whether or not they're connected but we can assure you that our detectives are looking into that and our detectives are also uh, in contact with those other uh, agencies. As far as Brea and La Habra is concerned, uh, at this point we would tell you that we feel, not 100% sure, but we feel confident that um, it is the same suspect and that's why we decided to hold the, uh, the joint uh, press conference uh, today. Um, obviously, as more information uh, becomes available, uh, we will make sure that um, that you know. Unfortunately, we are just doing a press briefing today, so we aren't going to take any any uh, questions. But we wanted to at least make you aware of what we have so far. And um, I would also encourage the news media outlets to um, take a look at all of our social media platforms. We will be updating information there. The other final thing is I just I do want to thank the media really quick um, for helping us get this information out. Um, and we really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Can you speak to the similarities between the two just works departments and all? 
Yeah, I'll, I'll, I will just say that we, um, without getting into everything, uh, based on some e uh, preliminary evidence, we do believe that it's it, it's possibly the same suspect. And are you notifying any of these convenience stores to take additional precautions? We will be doing that. Um, but unfortunately, that'll be all the questions that, that we're going to take right now. Thank you guys so much. All right, so our officials here, uh, again, giving us an update on what they do know here at this time. And again, right now, uh, they do believe that all of these incidents could be linked together. Here's a couple of just the pieces to the puzzle for those of you who are joining us here on Live Now from Fox. In one of the first locations, around 4.18 in the morning, a store clerk was fatally shot during an armed robbery. This happening in uh, Brea. This uh, are saying there was a male victim who died at the scene. Then it was a similar crime. That was reported also around 3.23 a.m. This one at the 7-Eleven in the 300 block of East 17th Street in Santa Ana. A man was found dead in the parking lot, suffering from a fatal gunshot wound to his upper torso. Meanwhile, uh, police investigating a similar armed robbery after two people were shot outside of a 7-Eleven. This in La Habra and this uh, happening just after uh, around 5 a.m. In this incident, an employee and a man sitting in his car outside the store were shot. Both were expected to survive. And police did talk with our Fox 11 Los Angeles team saying that a cash register was found apparently on the floor of the convenience store. And it was just before 2 a.m. that a, uh, another armed robbery was reported at yet another location. Uh, this one happening where police say a customer was shot, their condition unknown, and officials did not immediately release uh, information about that possible suspect or suspects. But they did say uh, just here with that press conference we just listened into that uh, they do believe they'll release a photo here uh, as soon as they can to our media. And of course, live now from Fox, we'll bring that to all of our viewers as soon as we do have it. This is some video again from some of those different scenes not only was our chopper up in the air we also had crews responding down on the ground showing us just some of those uh, different locations that were struck by these incidents these shootings here today if we get more updates from our Los Angeles police of course live now from Fox going to be bringing that to you also here on our stream let's go ahead take this opportunity to step away for a two minute break more top stories press conferences all coming to you from across the country in just a few moments